I get all these questions about, is this legal? Is this or that legal on the Daniel Fast? And so I want to just walk through some of those things and explain my rationale. So like we talked about before, the uh, the Daniel Fast mainly comes from Daniel chapter 1, where it talks about that he's not going to eat the king's food. It talks about food being from seed. Everything that Daniel ate was from seed. And so that's where we get the fact that we can eat fruits and vegetables and whole grains and all of those things. Uh, but there are some things, if you read... You know, you, you get different lists on what foods are legal for the Daniel Fast all across the spectrum. And so uh, there's some specific things that uh, some lists say are not legal. And we're going to take a look at a couple of those. Okay, so for example, there's some lists that say that you cannot eat mixed nuts because they're, they're, they're roasted for whatever reason. They say that that's not, not okay. Uh, but those are definitely from seed. And so uh, in my book, you know, those are, those are fine. Uh, same thing with herbal tea. I mean, there's a, obviously these wouldn't be good. These have some different uh, flavorings in them, but um, there's some different herbal teas out there that are that are strictly from seed. Like if you had even just plain black tea, uh, those kinds of things. Uh, this is one. These are kettle cooked potato chips, and they're cooked in olive oil, so it's not even like a, a bad oil that they're necessarily cooked in. So the only ingredients on here are potatoes olive oil and salt and so all those things are, are legal on the Daniel fast as things from seed and so uh, so we have to ask the question you know why are these not okay and so my answer to all those things is they, they probably are okay and coffee included right I mean coffee is a bean uh, it's no different than a roasted peanut it's just a roasted coffee bean and so to have black coffee on the Daniel fast in my book is probably okay uh, if we're going strictly by that by that letter of the law from seed. And so I do want to just want to read a scripture here because uh, this maybe get, gives a little more insight into what we're actually talking about. So this one's from Daniel chapter 10 and this is a, a separate, uh, the other piece of the, the Daniel fast scripture. And it says, in those days, Dan I, Daniel, was mourning for three weeks. I ate no delicacies, no meat or wine entered into my mouth, nor did I anoint myself at all for the full three weeks. And so we read that he had no delicacies for, for three weeks. And I think that is maybe more indicative of the heart of the Daniel fast. And so we can follow the letter of the law, but if we're going to try to get to the spirit uh, of, the, of the law, so to speak here, uh, we have to go to that level of, of delicacy. And I've had that in the past too, where the first few Daniel fasts that I did, I found myself continually turning to those mixed nuts because I knew that they were, they were legal, they were okay. But at the same time, when I, if you're eating, you know, two cans of those nuts over the course of the Daniel fast, you're probably getting more out of those nuts than than you should be. You're probably getting, uh, it's probably a delicacy for you. You're you're relying on it way way too much, and so I I actually end up cutting those out of my Daniel fast entirely, and so now I, I've gotten back to where I can eat, you know, a, a tablespoon or two of those, and I but I don't overdo it because I don't want it to become a delicacy. I don't want it to get a hold on me. And the same thing with potato chips. Yeah, I can get, I can eat a lot of potato chips. I really like potato chips, but I don't want that to grab a hold of me on this Daniel Fast, even though I think they technically could be legal. And as far as coffee and tea and those kinds of things, uh, you know, the caffeine is definitely a pleasurable experience. If you're a coffee drinker uh, or a, a tea drinker, you're, you're getting something out of that. There's a reason that you drink it every morning, and it's probably not just for the taste. And so I would just question, you know, uh, question yourself, examine yourself, and see, you know, am I, is this a delicacy for me, or is this something uh, that I am, I'm okay having, and it's not going to grab a hold of me on the Daniel Fast? It's going to be different for every person. You know, for some people, coffee is probably going to be okay. And I even tell people, if you haven't prepared properly for the Daniel Fast and you have a pot of, pot of coffee a day habit, uh, you should probably drink black coffee over the first week of Daniel Fast and gradually step yourself down because you'll be so miserable that it will not eat, you won't get anything out of it. Just be wise. Uh, tailor it to yourself. You know, you know your own limitations. You know what's a delicacy for you and what's not. 
Uh, we all, we all kind of know that. So you can stick to the rough guidelines, but for some of these things that are in a gray area, you know, you just have to decide for yourself what's going to be okay on this Daniel Fast for you. You know, if it's your first time and you want to give yourself a little bit more leeway, I get that, and that's fine. Uh, I'm just happy that you're uh, coming along and participating with us. Like I said, there's a lot of people in our church doing totally different things, and so uh, we're okay with all that. We just want you to be seeking God over these next three weeks or over the next week and a half since we're halfway through now. And so I just want to cover a couple more that I've had questions on before. Uh, one is eggs. You know, are eggs legal because it's not technically a dairy and it's not a technically a meat, but eggs are not legal because they're not they're not from seed. So uh, no eggs, unfortunately. And uh, I uh, I would love to have eggs because I have free supply of eggs. So I would I would totally take that. Oh, uh, sourdough uh, was another thing. And so would sourdough be legal because there's not actually yeast in it in the Old Testament or not having it's they talk about not having leavened bread and sourdough is definitely still leavened. And so that's def that's not legal either. And uh, sourdough, the culture is not really from seed anyway. And so it wouldn't be legal on multiple accounts. And the other one that I get asked a lot is, is honey legal because it's a, it's a natural sweetener. And I, I do get that a little bit and I can see how maybe it's kind of from seed, but uh, it's definitely a delicacy. And so it's not good on that account and it's not really from seed. So uh, I would not have honey on your Daniel fast either. So that, those are just a few of the questions that, that I get of, is it legal? If you have any other ones, feel free to put them in the comments. I'd be happy to uh, do a little more research on it, help you work through whether or not you should be having that on your Daniel fast. Uh, because it does come up. You know, you'll be looking, going through the grocery store and you see an ingredient on the list and on something you want to buy. And you'll be wondering, is this okay or is this not okay? Uh, please ask it here. And if I can't answer it, hopefully someone who's watching these videos will have an answer for you, uh, maybe even faster than I do. I want to encourage you just to be wise and just to use your own discernment when it comes to the Daniel Fast food. Uh, you know, no, we don't want it to be a legalistic thing because we don't want it to turn into, uh, oh, I did a Daniel Fast better than you did a Daniel Fast and whatever. Uh, we don't want it to turn into that at all. Uh, we just want it to turn into be a time where, where you're seeking God in, in the way that's, that's right for you at this moment in time. So I just pray you'd have a, a great night. And if you uh, need anything, have any questions, throw them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like and share with anyone you know. And uh, be blessed. morning I had my oatmeal with uh, raisins and flax seeds and I actually put cinnamon in it today and I'm not going to do that again. Uh, the flax seeds and cinnamon for whatever reason don't seem to go together so uh, lesson learned there. Suffered through it but uh, it was okay. And for lunch I had a, a little salad of those greens that I made up yesterday uh, that was good and along with um, uh, the pasta. I have one more meal of that pasta left. And this evening I fried up those some of those potatoes with uh, with some more rice and beans. I'm almost out of those, thank goodness, because I'm getting tired of it. I had some guacamole on the side, and then I had some of my sweet potato fries that I made. And so that was a that was a really good meal. I'd really suggest those sweet potato fries if you're kind of needing something sweet and snacky. Uh, they're pretty good in the oven, so uh, that's definitely worth your time. Okay, I do want to show you just a couple things that I've tried over the last couple of days. I found these at Sheets. Um, they're really good, not real cost effective. They're kind of expensive for how much you get. But it was a pretty good snack. They're just like baked apples. And the only, it took me a while. I was looking for an ingredient list on it. And it says right on here, um, ingredients, apples. So these are definitely okay for the Daniel Fast. So if you're at the gas station and need something, uh, some kind of snack, uh, these are pretty good flavor-wise. I thought they were good. Um, these tomatoes I tried at Walmart. Uh, I got both of these at Walmart. They were a little bit more expensive. But I figure if I'm on the Daniel Fast, I'm eating tomatoes, I might as well uh, try some new things. These are both fine, but I don't think, I think if you could just find regular cherry tomatoes, I don't think the average person is going to be able to tell the difference between these and those. Uh, but it was interesting to try them. I just thought I'd let you know. Give me that tomato back. No. Yeah, give me that tomato back. No, this is my tomato. No, you give me that tomato. No. Hey, get back here. <laughs> give me that tomato back. Give me my, my tomato back. <laughs> you give me that tomato back. No. <laughs> give me it. Give me it. Yeah, let's see it. Give me that tomato. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mom, Daddy. Mommy saved you, huh? <laughs> <laughs>